So I got SR76 in the shop. The shop. I got a shop. In the garage. I wish I had a shop. I don't have a shop. I got it in the garage. Uh, I'm going to finish putting the interior stuff together, or at least some of it, um, today. I've got the whole day scheduled. So the goal is to get these pieces all put back in here. I'm going to do something about the speaker that's hanging there. Um, get these pieces all put back into here, these and the tops. And that's the main goal today. If I don't run out of time, then I want to get that panel off over there and get that ready to get painted. Or the center panel, either one of those I can I can deal with getting apart. Uh, so today I'm going to take, uh, we're going to put the, all the AC pieces back on. Uh, I've got some work to do down in here. Uh, I've got the kick panel, the black kick panel to go on. What I really like seeing is no rust and stuff up in here. That's a good thing. Um, wipe down these a little bit. Um, and again, the AC thing is a mess, um, but there's not much I can do about that uh, now. That's going to have to be a much later, like a year from now, uh, event. Um, all the wires I'm going to tuck back up inside here somewhere, figure out where they're going to go. Um, heater box looks like it's all in good shape. Uh, so that's what we're going to work on today. Um, and then if you remember, the pieces are the ones I dyed, and I'll show those to you as we get going here. Um, but again, the goal is to get this back on, um, and the tops redone, or get the tops in, installed back together again, uh, and get a couple more pieces off and get them ready to be stained. And I got to do something with that ugly steering column. Got the ma mahogany wheel, uh, that's ready to go. Uh, but I got to do something with the ugly steering column. We'll figure that out. All right. Uh, I'll set up some cameras here or at least show you what it, the progress is I go not a lot of room in here And it's kind of hard to get these get these adjusted uh, Cameras set up, but we'll see what we can do All right, so I'm going to do some cleaning up in here. I've already cleaned up this piece here um, it's got a little piece of tape on there, and I'm not sure why that's on there. Um, there's a swivel vent of some kind, but that doesn't relate to anything that's on the actual board here. So I'm not sure how that's gonna how that's gonna. Oh, I see. It blows down low. You see where it blows down low, and why that's plugged up, I don't know. Um, looks like it would have had a swivel on there sometime. Some, in some case, I'll check the other side and see if it's under. But I don't see the other one on there at all on the on the side over here. Um, but I think uh, I think. But uh, basically, this is going to go up like this. There's not much else to do with that. Is that just some, oh, there? That's crusty, huh? I may put a little heat on that and squinch it in a little bit so it stays, but it's going to stay just by the fact that it'll be pushed in by other things. But I also look for a clip or something. I don't see a clip on here, so I'm not really sure. Uh, we'll figure that out as we go. All right, so I kind of forgot that I was going to do some work on this. Um, I just cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, I had done some earlier. There's a video on where I did a little bit of lube on the on the uh, pull, but I forgot I had to, to attach the felt back in there. And uh, the only reason I'm doing that is because it gives a little better seal. Um, it'll give a little better seal to the to the ball, the silver ball that swings around in there, the vent control. Uh, and so I'm going to, hopefully it's going to work well. I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, and uh, use a little uh, Loctite spray adhesive on there and get that stuck in it. It'll take a couple minutes to dry, but in the meantime, I still got other things to do, so that won't be a problem. Okay, so I got a little piece of Velcro up here. Uh, it's hard for you to see there, but I can't blow it up any further. And I want to put my big head in the way here. And that should hold, double-sided, sticky. 
and then the Velcro in the middle. We should be good right there. Okay, so while I'm looking at all this wiring, um, these are, that's a sound probably for the buzzer. Um, it may even be part of the alarm, I don't know. I'll have to do a little research on that. Um, we've got one of the flashers here. And then we've got, uh, of course, the bulb, courtesy light bulb. And then we've got another flasher, I think it is, right here. It's pretty old. Uh, I have to focus in on that. Yeah, that doesn't tell me much. At least I can't see from there. There we go. And then we'll look that up later and make sure that it is. Uh, it's all good. Everything, as far as I can tell, is there working. Uh, so I'm going to get it tucked up in here. Um, and just notice that this speaker is not original to the core. You can see uh, that's where the original one should go. This has just been popped in there. That's okay for now. I'm not going to mess with that right now. The radio does work, but I'm not going to be using it, so it really doesn't matter. Detracts from listening to the to the exhaust sound in the engine. 